Uh, so for this trick, the spectator can go ahead and shuffle the cards as much as they want, just like this. You guys can see here, all the cards are completely different, random, and all completely shuffled. So what's going to happen is this. I'm just going to give the spectator a small packet of cards here, and I'm going to have them just think of any card that they see. So literally any one of these cards would be, would be fine. Um, but just for this video's sake, we're going to put one card from here up on the screen so that all of the viewers can remember the same card, okay? So once you're thinking of that card, just please go ahead and lock that in your memory. And all that we're going to do now is we are going to be shuffling these cards. So I would actually hand these cards over to the spectator. They can go ahead and just mix them up as much as they want, just like that. So they would go ahead and do that. And in the meantime, when they're shuffling, I'm just going to try and get a sense of what their card was. Now, I'm just going to... I'm gonna, gonna try and get the uh, color of the card first. So, okay, you weren't thinking of a, um, it, it wasn't a red card, was it? It was. Okay, interesting. That's actually exactly what I thought. So, um, all that we're gonna do now is we're gonna try and take this one step further, okay? So, we're going to take the thought of card packet here, and what's gonna happen is this. I'm gonna try and remove the exact card that you're thinking of. Now, keep in mind, you haven't even said it out loud. You've literally never said the card out loud. You're only thinking of it inside of your head. So I'm just going to do my best. And you shuffled these cards, so it's going to be extra hard for me. I think I'm just going to place my best guess on this one. Which one? Uh, this, is, this is tough. Okay, we'll go with this one here. Okay, so I'm going to put my bet on that one over there. And all that we're going to do now is isolate that card face down in the center of the deck so that I can't uh, change my mind. Now, what, for the first time, you can actually name your card out loud. Six of Hearts. That was the card you thought of. Yes. Okay, interesting. So, I want you to go through the cards one at a time and see, is your Six of Hearts still within this pack? There, and they would be dealing through the cards here, seeing if their thought of card is still within this pile. And I'm pretty sure that it is not. The Six of Hearts, their Thought of Card has completely disappeared from this pile, even though they've been holding onto it and shuffling it the entire time. Um, but keep in mind, I did remove one card and put it right here, face down, in the middle of the deck. And you guys can see that clearly right over here. And also, keep in mind, you actually shuffled the deck beforehand, so you technically, you could have thought of any card in the entire deck because of the shuffled cards. Um, but once again, can you just please name your card out loud for everyone else? Uh, Six of Hearts. And I think I removed the exact card, the Six of Hearts. And that is the trick, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And now for the tutorial. All right, guys, so here's the tutorial for the trick that you just saw. So I know you guys wanted a little bit more advanced tricks, so that's what I'm going to be bringing to you today. This trick is just slightly more advanced. The slides aren't that hard, but it will take some practice and getting used to. But without further ado, let's get right into how this trick is done. So this is a completely impromptu trick which means the deck can be completely mixed up and shuffled by the spectator. So the first thing that you're going to do uh, when the spectator is done shuffling the cards is you're going to break off just a small packet of cards. Roughly like a quarter of the deck would be perfect. You're going to turn them face up and you're going to spread them out so that the spectator can see all the cards and you're going to spread them out face up. So at this point, you're going to invite the spectator to literally think of any card, just mentally select any card. And don't point to it or anything. So they're going to mentally select any card. So in this case, let's say that they are thinking of the three of diamonds over here. It really could be any of these cards, but let's just pick the three of diamonds for the tutorial purposes. So once they have a card, they are going to just remember it and they'll tell you that they're done remembering it. The rest of the deck remaining, you're just going to do a pinky pull down on about half of the cards, just like this, and then you're going to have a pinky break. So then what you're going to do is you're going to do a little bit of a packet switch, and this switch does require some misdirection. So if you do it quickly enough, it should be pretty hidden, and the spectator won't really notice it. So what you're going to do, hold this pinky break here, and then you're going to square up the cards like this, and then you're going to place all these cards on top of the deck, okay? You're going to square up everything, and you're still holding this break. You're going to tilt your hand up so that you're flashing the face of the cards to the spectator. You're going to tilt your hand all the way up, and when you do this, you're going to break the cards at the break, and you're going to set the top half of the deck here on the table, just like this, and then you're going to bring your hand down and take this pack of cards and spread them face down on the table. And what you've just done is you've taken all the cards that the spectator could have thought of, um, and you've placed them here on top of the deck. So all of the cards that the spectator could have thought of were actually here. As you can see, the Three of Diamonds is now 
uh, within the deck already. But the spectator thinks that their card is still among here. So at this point, what you're going to do is you are just going to square up these cards, pick them up, and then you're just going to start shuffling them like this, just kind of mixing them around. This is basically just showing the spectator how to mix up the cards. So you're going to explain to them, you can mix up the cards as much as you want, and then you're going to hand these cards over to them, and they're going to start doing the same thing. So once they're done shuffling this packet, you're just going to have them set it down on the table. And at this point, what you're going to do is you're going to just, you're going to be holding this uh, deck, the rest of the deck, the entire time, okay? You're going to be mind reading, and you're going to be trying to get a sense of what the spectator's card was just by doing some mentalism. So what's going to happen is you're going to be guessing the color of the card. Now, you're going to be using this line for no matter what card they choose. And by the way, you, the magician, has absolutely no idea what card the spectator is thinking of. So this line works for literally any card they, they choose. And it's a nice little sort of one-way force. So what's going to happen is you're just going to say, so I'm going to get a little sense of what the color was, and you're going to say this line. You're going to say, you weren't thinking of a red card, were you? And if they say, yes, I was, then you already know, boom, their card's a red card. And if you say, you weren't thinking of a red card, were you? And they're going to say, no. And then you're going to say, yeah, yeah, you were thinking of a black card. You're sort of getting the exact color of the card. So it's a very, very nice way to do that. And when you know the color of their card, no matter what it is, red or black, you're just going to want to make sure that the bottom card is the opposite color of their card. So you're going to ask them, your card wasn't a red card, was it? And they're going to say yes. And you're going to say, yes, I did know it was a red card. You're going to flip the deck over in your hand just like this, just kind of do like a 180 or 360 degree spin, doesn't really matter. But you're going to be looking at the bottom card and you're going to see that it's a red card. So all you're going to do is just give the deck a quick cut and then check again. And if it's a black card, then you're set. You just want the bottom card to be the opposite color because you don't know what their card is. And if by any chance their card is on the bottom of the deck, that would completely ruin the entire trick. So you just want to give the deck a quick cut um, until you see a black card just like this, and that will be perfectly fine. And if their card was a black card, then you would want to do the opposite. You would want to make sure that there's a red card on top. So at this point, you're going to spread the cards out. This part is all acting. So you're just going to take out basically any card from here, but you're going to act like you're taking out their card. But really, whichever card you take out, it's going to be um, a wrong card. You're going to end up switching the card in the end. So all you're going to do is take out a random card, you're going to flip over the deck in your hand, and you're just going to stick this random card face down in the middle of the face up deck. So at this point, you're going to ask the spectator what their card was, and you can ask them to name it out loud. They're going to say three of diamonds, and you're going to say, really interesting. I want you to go through the cards on the table one at a time and make sure that the three of diamonds is not in there. And they're going to be going through all these cards one at a time, and obviously the three of diamonds is not going to be in there because you did a packet switch at the beginning. So no matter what card they thought of in that beginning packet, none of those cards are going to be in this packet. So now that you know their card was the three of diamonds, um, when they're almost done looking through this pile, you're just going to start by spreading through the cards here. Um, and do it kind of to yourself, but don't lift up the cards to yourself, because then they're obviously going to see this card. So you do not want to flash this card at all. But just kind of do this to yourself, and you're going to be looking for the Three of Diamonds. And in this case, I actually put the card uh, right next to it, and that wouldn't normally happen. But you would basically just be looking for that Three of Diamonds for their card that they named out loud. And when you find it, you're going to call it to the top of the deck. So you're going to take it out like this, you're going to call it, spread through the cards, and then just insert it right there. Um, so that it's now going to be the top card. Once you do that, you're just going to spread the cards again, showing that they really could have thought of any card in the deck. And now at this point, you could do one of two things. You could either take out the card, and you can easily just get a break on that top card and do a double lift, showing that it was their card. Or what you can do is you take out the cards like this, and then you spread the cards face up on the table, and you could do a little top change, which is a little bit more advanced, but it looks something like this where you're going to sort of move your entire body to the right, and what you're going to do is you're going to do a top change, which looks something like this. There are many tutorials on how to do this, so if you don't know how to do it, go ahead and click this uh, video up here. That should teach you how to do a nice top change, but that's like the more advanced version, so you could uh, basically tilt your body to the right, do a top change as you point to all these cards. That's the reason for you doing it. So you're going to point to all these cards, and then take the cards in your hand, turn them over, flip them over on the table, and then spread the rest out on the table, saying that you shuffled the cards, you could have technically thought of any card in the deck, and I pulled out any card, and it just so happened to be your card, the three of diamonds. That is essentially the entire trick, guys. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And also, if you guys don't know how to do any of the slides, check out the videos I left in this uh, the little I button here. You guys should click that, and it should take you to all the cool sleight of hand tutorial videos. So anyways, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the trick. And I will see you guys for my next video. Bye.